Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We've reached the letter O and that's for option sets. Okay, so you might think that I've got it wrong and that option sets is now called choices. Well, in the marketing app, it's still option sets. So what we're going to do is look at how we can use two option sets together to create cascading style drop down lists so that when we select something from the first list that will filter the second list. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to look at our form fields that we can then add on to a form. So the first thing is we've got a field, I've called it directory requirements and we are picking the field type of option set. We're then saying how are we going to render that? So that's going to be a drop down list and that is mapping to the contact field called dietary requirements. So that's the first one. And then if we look at our other one, we have one called menu selection. And this is a field called menu selection. And again, it is an option set or a choice. And we're going to show that as a drop down as well. Once we've got those form fields set up, if we go into our marketing forms and we'll go ahead and we will look at one that I've already created, I'm gonna put this into edit mode. And what we've got here is we have these two are um, the two form fields that we've created. So we have directory requirements and then menu selection. Now what we need to do is we need to add both of the fields onto the form first of all. Then what's gonna happen is once we've gone ahead and put in the second one, what we can do is scroll down and say that we want to filter this by a parent. And what is the parent? The parent is the dietary requirements. So someone picks their dietary requirements, vegan, um, vegetarian, whatever that might be. And then based on what they've selected, we want to give them a specific menu selection. So if I then click here, where it says field setup relationships, we now then have a new screen where we get the drop down options from the dietary requirements, which is our parent um, field. And we've got four different options. We've got non vegetarian, we've got um, vegan and we've got gluten free. Then what happens if I actually go ahead and let's delete these. So what happens is in the drop down option for vegetarian, if someone picks it, we then want to display certain options. So this is everything that's in that menu selection um, option record or the field. And I'm going to say, okay, well, if it's uh, vegetarian it's this one it's this one and I think we've got one other yeah there we go so I've selected those three so now we've got each of these that when I pick dietary requirements that will filter the next item and only show the options that I've selected here so I'm going to go ahead and click done now if we go ahead and actually look at the form if somebody's filling it out notice that we have all of these options here. If I pick this, there's nothing in there. If I then select vegan, I then see I've got three options. If I change that to vegetarian, I have different options, gluten free, different options again, and finally different options here. So using those option set fields and setting up your form fields, you can then use multiple drop down lists or option um, form fields. You can then tie those together to make one the parent, one the child and create these cascading type drop down lists on your marketing forms. So O is for option sets. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.